Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ubu Godwin, which is super excited to be back here. And today I have with me Farouk. All right, me and Farouk will be reacting to some Islamic um, content because I've been checking out life from an Islamic point of view. Um, I've been looking at life from um, the Muslim point of view, like the way Muslims um, live and the, their religion. I'm trying to know more about it. Yeah, and it's been an interesting few weeks for me. It's been an eye opener. It's been explorative for me i have seen things i've understood things um i've been able to counter a lot of stereotypes that we know about islam or yeah. about muslims you know we heard about a lot of things and which are not true and I've, I'm, I'm wild i'm wide open i've learned some things about the prophet peace be unto him and it's it's amazing i've learned some things about the throne of allah the dome and the you know the kaaba yeah, yeah, cover. Yeah, that's that a whole lot of things. Yeah, really so Islam. like it's been interesting. Like it's been amazing. Like I, I spoke to a friend of mine recently too. I ho actually helped me yeah. get a Quran because I want to go through it myself. I want to see oh, some wow. things in it. Yes, because I found out that a lot of things are similar when it comes to exactly. Christianity and Islam. So I just wanted to go through it, and it's been lovely for me. It's been interesting. I really, really want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers and those that have been coming back and like dropping content and dropping articles right up sharing their ideas with me in the comment section i want to say a very big thank you this journey you made it very very easy for me guys so today we'll be looking at the bible and christianity is mocking jesus christ wow yeah, the bible and christianity is mocking jesus christ yeah. Please be unto him, Sheikh Ahmed. Very controversial Dad. video. Yeah, yes. very controversial. Yeah. So, guys, let's get right into this. My point to you, sir, is this that at the start of your uh, well prepared and well researched talk, you referred to Jesus Christ as Hazrat Isa. Alayhi salam. I, as a Muslim like yourself, believe in Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, as a true prophet of God. As your then talk went on, I got the feeling, perhaps I was alone in getting that feeling, maybe other people who listened to your talk uh, in an open-minded fashion as I did, I tried to do it. I got the feeling that at times, with due respect, you, you appeared to mock Hazrat Isa al -Islam, You appeared to mock his teachings. And therefore, I feel that if that feeling is correct, that in the course of your talk, you have not only, again with due respect, not only contradicted yourself, but also misrepre misrepresented the teachings of Islam, which are to respect all the true prophets of Allah. What are your comments on this? Sir? Before you move away from the mic, you see, you made an allegation, very serious allegation, that I mocked Jesus. I just want you to give one example. One example, look, I spoke for more than an hour. Surely you can give one example. Let the people hear what mocking did I do as a Muslim. One, one example. Let them hear. Uh, Hazrat Isa al-Islam's teachings were true teachings of Allah and Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam's teachings were uh, a development of those teachings and an expansion of those teachings as you so correctly said to the world at large. But in, your, the, in the way you delivered your speech, in the way you referred to Hazrat Isa al-Islam in the course of your speech, there was no particular example as such. But one and a quarter hour, you can't do one example of mockery, but you, you did say that these speeches were incorrect, and that please quote, please quote. What you have to do is, look, give examples. Now, if you were a Christian, I would have been happy to deal with you as a Christian. Because if you said I made mockery, I said this is what the Bible says. This is how the Bible put it. He said, oh generation of wipers, you whited sepulchers, you wicked and adulterous generation. Now if that is offensive to anybody, I said these are not my words. I never spoke like that. I never uttered words to that effect. You see, that you fools, you hypocrites, you brood of snakes. You know who's talking like that? Jesus in the Bible. He says, you brood of snakes, you wicked and adulterous generation. Do you know all that? Do you know that Jesus speaks like that? The Christians say, this is how Jesus spoke. You know, he insulted his mother. He said, woman, what have I to do with you? 
You know that? Am I making a mockery or is the Bible making a mockery of the man? I want to know. If you were a Christian, I could have asked you. I said, look man, you don't know your own book. I am only quoting you what he's supposed to have said. He said, do not throw the bread of the children to the dogs. Now you must come forward. The Christian must come forward and say, look, Jesus never said any such thing. I am making a mockery of his religion. I said, look, this is what Jesus said. He said, do not throw that which is holy into dogs. Do not throw pearls before swine. Am I making a mockery of you making a mockery? If you are a Christian, I say, you are making a mockery of Jesus. <laughs> this mighty messenger of God, whom we believe that he was born miraculously. Am I right? He was born miraculously as a Muslim, we believe, without any male intervention. This book gives us two genealogies of Jesus. Matthew and Luke. They give you 66 fathers and grandfathers to a man who had no father. Now I want to know who's making a mockery, the Quran or the Bible. 66 fathers and grandfathers to a man who had no father. And out of the two lists given by Matthew and Luke, there's only one name common to the both lists. Joseph the carpenter. And he's not supposed to be there. Because he's not the actual father of Jesus. Am I right? He was a Muslim. But he is supposed to be the father of Jesus Christ. And Luke says so. Luke says, and Jesus happened to be about 30 years of age when he began to preach. Who being the son of Joseph. Who being the son of Joseph. That's what Luke says. In the words are there after that in brackets, as was supposed. And if you ask any Christian scholar, any Christian scholar, what are these words doing in brackets? They will tell you that Luke in his manuscripts, in the Codex Sinaiticus, Codex Vaticanus, Codex Alexandrianus, these words are not there. These are the words of the editors. So Luke said that Jesus is the son of Joseph. As was supposed are your words, man's words. Who is making a mockery of Jesus? The Muslim or the Christian? So you see, you as a Muslim, it was very, very unfair. The unkindliest cut was from you. I would have preferred a Christian to say that, then I could have presented all these things to him. You see, what, what I keep saying to people here, yeah, it's, it's good you read. Yes. And I did that, although most people see him as controversial, even me, my sometimes I do see him because, um, I don't know, because of the tone in which he used to say some of these things, yeah. you, I get the, the young man's, then by now you should be very old because it's been a long time, this video. He was trying to, like, the way he sounded. And, you know, these words, to me, I made the that is taking it from the way it was translated in the Bible, right? If it was written in Arabic, probably if it's still in its original form in Arabic, which it was written in Hebrew or Arabic, right? It wouldn't be the way it is translated. So it's translated for, for example, with him telling his mother, woman, what do I have to do with it? It was when, I think, in the um, wedding in Canaan, where he was asked to turn water, where he turned water into wine, when the um, mom met, we called him like, oh, like, like, his time is not yet um, arrived for him to carry out this, um, you know, for him to start carrying out miracles. Mm -hmm. But his mother was like, because the mother knew the kind of son he has, mm -hmm. you know. So, listen, do whatever he to tells you to do. And they did, you know. And him being, they said, being the son of Joseph, we all know the Bible says it is not, he is not, Joseph didn't touch um, mm -hmm. Mary before he gave birth to Jesus, but he was married to Mary, so definitely there should be a father figure, like yes, be a father figure. figure so since he, yeah. he is there, uh, married to the mom, definitely do are like, oh, that's his son, that's Joseph's yeah. son, you, you know. So sometimes, sometimes the way he uses these words, people might literally think, oh, he's actually mocking the Christians, or it's an oil tone of his voice, which is well understand. But in terms of the, what I love about that is that he's well read. You know, and because it's well read, he brings out um, points, examples when for when he's relating his his, um, his message. Yes, his, yeah. exactly. So that that is one thing. Seeing what we should do whenever we do like in searching, we should just read. See when we read, we get answers. Exactly. In addition to that, I just feel everybody should have an open mind. Yeah. Having an open mind is the first step to reading. Reading can be one thing. 
But then if you don't have an open mind, of course, you'll have your mindset tilted towards a particular place and then you won't be able to see things from another perspective. Yeah. You understand? So that's just, you just have an open mind, you read and then you understand and then you try and see things from both perspectives, not just jumping into conclusions. Exactly. So, You're right. I think that's about it. So. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you for sticking with us on this one. It's been an amazing journey for me. I want to say thank you for coming. Yeah. And guys, I'll be dropping the link to his channel. He's also an amazing YouTuber in the description. You go check it out. And you'll be amazed by the kind of content you find there guys so to come away next time